So who's going to pay for this? All the vandalized headstones at the Hilltop Memorial Cemetery in Nyssa. Well, the insurance company reps are saying, it's not us. KBOI2's Abigail Taylor has been working to get answers as to why. She's live in Nyssa right now with what she's found out. Abigail. Brent, I just spoke with board members here at Hilltop Cemetery, and here's what they tell me. So the entire cemetery is owned by them, right? But once a plot of land like this one is purchased by a family, it no longer belongs to them. It belongs to the family. So if a headstone like this one here is damaged, vandalized, actually, it's not up to them to replace it, except for in the situation they say, unless it was a staff member of the cemetery who damages it, like if they were riding a lawnmower and accidentally hit it that way. But in this case, it was vandals, and the insurance company says it's not their responsibility. Memorial Monuments in Meridian estimates the damage here to be more than $50,000, and that means these families have to pay an average of $1,250 to replace their loved ones headstones that were vandalized from that such sadness mm -hmm. I, this is a very I don't know whether you'd call it sacred but it's a very special place and for someone to come in and just deliberately desecrate them it's hard for people it's hard for people to handle Board members tell me that since this has happened, the cemetery insurance agent told them that several other cemeteries have been calling to go over their insurance policies to see if this could happen to them. A GoFundMe page has been set up for these families, and Crime Stoppers and Weezer has also created a fund to help the families, as well as a reward to help catch the people who did this. But the board members say no amount of money will ever take the pain of what's happened inside of this cemetery cemetery last week away from these families and with Memorial Day just around the corner that burden is even greater and so three local companies who wish to be anonymous have actually teamed up together to replace these green flags that signify these headstones being broken and they're going to replace those with flags that say the person's name on it to honor them and their families. Live in Nyssa, Abigail Taylor, KBOI 2 News. My, my sister. No person in their right mind would do something like this. They were evil. They were evil and whatever they were on. I hope they took a piece of her headstone because she will come back and get them. That was a reaction last week as family members saw the damage, saw the vandalism. Our crews interviewed loved ones that day, and uh, it was heartbreaking to hear some of the things they had to say. To hear more of their stories, check out IdahoNews.com.